Good afternoon from Zurich in Switzerland and welcome to a new video. Today I'm flying to Munich and Germany with Swiss. I took this flight around two months ago and Zurich airport was already pretty busy back then. Here's the check-in area for Swiss flights and thanks to my Starlines Gold status I was entitled to use the priority check-in. I was actually just connecting at Munich airport and my onward flight was on the same ticket. The check-in agent however just labeled my bag until Munich. I really don't know why she did that, but after I told her she labeled it to my final destination. Here we are already airside. Zurich airport offers a separate security queue for business and status customers which was pretty efficient and only took a couple minutes. My next stop now is the Swiss Senator Lounge. It's actually my first time at Zurich Airport and I've also never been to a Swiss lounge before. Welcome to one of the Senato lounges at Zurich Airport. My first impression was actually pretty good. There's many available seats and tables and the lounge was also pretty bright. The design of the lounge was also quite modern. This is the bathroom for example. Here in this lounge warm dishes are served by the staff. They offer soup and desserts as well. Moreover there's a salad bar and even more desserts. Back then in April they did also not offer original coke. Customers started complaining and now they do serve coke again. I really like how this airline reacted on customers feedback. For dinner I had ratatouille, potatoes and sausages. It tasted quite good. Upstairs there was a silent area, which was completely empty during my visit. It was more like a place to work and relax. I also decided to take a shower before my flight and well, here's the shower in the Swiss lounge. I really like them much better than what I've seen in other lounges. Shampoo was also provided. And last but not least, this lounge has many workspaces to get some work done. I've spent enough time in the lounge and now let's go to the gate. Zurich airport is pretty clean and modern. It's definitely one of my favorite airports in Europe. And here we are at the gate where boarding is about to start. Swiss itself doesn't require face masks on their flights. As the flight however is going to Germany and the German government requires masks in public transport, you will still need to wear a face covering during the whole flight. The aircraft for this flight is a 5 year old Airbus A220-100. Welcome on board Swiss A220, which is configured in a 2 3 configuration. My seat for this flight is 21A. If you want to change your seat after checking in, you will need to pay an additional fee. I'll show you the seat features in a bit after takeoff. Our flight time today is only 41 minutes. We reached the cruising altitude and it's just a short flight, so let's check out the cabin really quick. Up here there are little screens, here is an in-flight map, but there is also some additional information. They do however also use it as additional space for advertisements. The seat itself comes with two seat pockets. It can be a bit annoying if you have a bigger item like a laptop or a tablet. The table is quite big, you can move it back and forth. The legroom is alright, I didn't measure it on this flight. Swiss offers a small service on their flights. I got a little chocolate bar and a bottle of water. 
I think for a flight which is just 40 minutes long, a service like this is okay. Swiss however also has flights to Sweden or Portugal. And I think it's a bit sad for such an airline that if you have a flight which is almost 3 hours long, you will have to purchase something from the buy on board menu. I'll show you the buy on board menu on my next Swiss review. So make sure to be subscribed to the channel and you'll be notified as soon as the video is out. This short 41 minutes flight is already coming to an end. We are already approaching Munich and as a short summary, the experience at Zurich was pretty good, check-in was efficient and Swiss also has some really good lounges. The service on board was okay, however it would have been disappointing if the flight was any longer. We almost made it to Munich, so please enjoy the landing at Munich upward. Welcome to Munich Airport, actually my home airport, but this time I was just connecting here. We made it to Munich on time, 10 minutes before scheduled arrival time. Thank you very much for joining me on this flight. If you enjoyed the review, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel. There's a new review on this channel every Friday. Until then, I wish you a great week and see you next week for the next video.